Hello, Billy back. Uh, making another soap. This one um, will be scented with lavender and Lang Lang essential oils. I've had them sitting in the kaolin clay. In here are my oils, fat and butter mixed with my cow's milk. I'm going to add my essential oils now. And make sure I get every last bit out. Don't like leaving any behind. So the majority of my oil is lavender and just a little bit of Lang Lang because that is quite strong. And then I have my lye, quite concentrated because I've taken out my milk portion from my water. <clears throat> I'll just add that now. Actually, I might add my titanium dioxide first. Just get all the additives in there beforehand. And then it's a little less mixing after the lies been added. With the lavender it may speed up the trace. Okay. Now I'm thinking of doing it in the pot swirl. That's just blended to emulsification, that's all I want for now. Because it'll get some more blending when I add my clays. So I'm going to keep the majority white. And then just pour off a little bit that I'll add some purple clay to, Brazilian purple clay, and some Aussie red clay. Now I've added the titanium dioxide to the main batch because I want them kind of muted colours, not um, bright. I always forget to open my bags before I start filming. Some of these bags are really hard to open. So this is Brazilian purple clay. This one's from Aussie Soap Supplies. And then we've got, this is Australian red clay. And red clay can make red bubbles if you're not careful how much you use. I'm not sure how much to use, so I'll just start with a little bit. Leave that for now. Start with the Brazilian purple. It's a nice light purple colour there. May even mm, might add a tiny bit more. Not much. Mixing that with the titanium dioxide. Can you see those two? And I'm just going to pour them back in here. I might just give that a very quick 
blend because it's still quite liquid. I thought with these florals that um would trace pretty quickly but it's behaving quite well. So I'll just pour these in. I'm loving this pinky colour. I'm using the Aussie red clay. It's come up really nice. All of it out. Okay, and just one swirl will be enough. Bring over my mould. Check that you can see. We had a market last night. <clears throat> it was actually a twilight market in Lakes Entrance. It was so cold and so windy. I had, I think, all my tent pegs in action, making sure we didn't blow away. But the atmosphere was really nice. It's actually grand final weekend. It's grand final day today. So Lakes Entrance on um, Long Weekend is quite busy. People visiting from Melbourne. So it was yeah, a really nice market, even though it was freezing. Really nice atmosphere. I'm just going to thump that on the ground. I'll be back in a sec. use my fork just to pull everything across this way so far the app that I use to edit my videos I don't think I can fast forward different sections of the video but I'm not sure if I actually I've got the free version whether I get the paid version I might be able to do that so 
I might even do that when I get in. Have a go at the paid version. See if I can fast forward these more boring bits for you. Okay. Then I have some rose petals. If I can get the bag open. So they're from Heirloom. And some cornflower petals also from Heirloom. So this is kind of a floral. Let's do a bit of a mix of both of those for the top. How pretty is that? Okay, so I was just going to put them just down one side. And I will just tap them down a little bit so that they stick properly. pretty I think this is going to be a really pretty soap nice and delicate feminine there we go clean my fingers off and um, pause for a minute righto Goes on and on and on and on, doesn't it? There we go. We'll see what it looks like on the inside tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Okay, we're back to cut the lavender and lang lang soap. I've actually cut the long loaf in half. But when you're cutting anything with botanicals on top, don't cut down because you'll drag them through the soap and make marks. Looks really pretty. I'm really happy with it. I love that in the pot swirl. The flowers on top. cut a couple more because they'll all be quite similar. <coughs> really pretty. Thank you for joining me again and I will catch you on the next video.